Hi viewers, welcome to Alma Solution. Today we are going to see about grid connected PV winded with the battery energy storage system in MATLAB Sumlin. Thanks for watching our video. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So I am going to explain the grid connected PV wind with the battery energy storage in the MATLAB. So for that, I'm going to open that MATLAB simulation created for that reconnected hybrid solar PV wind generator system with the battery energy storage system. So here you can see that. So this is the wind turbine. Wind turbine uh, is connected with the PMSG permanent magnetic signal generator and then the output of PMSG is converted into DC by means of this rectifier and then here we connected the this output of rectifier with the DC bus by means of this boost converter and also here we used MBPT algorithm, normal P and MBPT algorithm for this wind energy system. So further you have to measure the rectifier output voltage and current of the at the output of rectifier. So that 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 going to be given to that P and MBPT algorithm. So this P and MBT algorithm generated to this cycle, so based upon the rectifier voltage and current. So here we consider the model that mean the rating of the systems around 2.77 or 2.8 kilowatt system. So this it can generate maximum 2.8 kilowatt. Okay, and also the wind speed is I'm going to consider as variable. So from 0 seconds to 2 seconds, the wind speed is maintained at the 12 meter per second. So after 2 seconds, the wind speed changed to around 10.1 meter per second. Okay. So this output of this boost converter, so output of this wind generator converter is connected to the DC bus. Here we have the PV panel. So PV panel rating is around uh, 2000 watts and is going to be connected to the grid via this boost converter. And also this boost converter and PV panel is controlled by means of this in incremental conductance in the algorithm. So it going to be control this boost converter in order to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. So again this output of this converter is connected with the common DC bus. And here we have battery. So battery rating is around 2020 and AH is 48AH is connected to the DC bus via bidirectional DC DC converter. So this bidirectional DC DC converter. So this one is going to be controlled by means of voltage controller. So for that we have to measure the, the DC bus voltage. So the DC bus voltage is going to be compared with the reference voltage voltage 400 because so we are going to synchronize, we are going to connect this wind, PV and battery to the single piece grid. So that's why here we are using 400 volt and then the load voltage will be compared with this reference voltage. So this error voltage will be processed by PA controller. It will be generated the duty cycle. So then it will be processed by PWM generator. So this pulse is going to be given to this bidirectional DC-DC converter, IGBD switch, in order to maintain this 
DC bus voltage always equal to 400 volt. Okay. So next we have the grid connected system. That means we have the bidirectional DC to AC converter or AC to DC converter. So it will be connected to the grid via this LCL filter and then this inverter will be controlled by means of uh, DK, con uh, DK control frame so this is inverter control logic so the, the, the reference current generation that mean so here we are going to generate the reference current for controlling of this inverter so based upon uh, PV current and the source of the battery so based upon this two parameter so we have to decide reference current whether we are going to take the power from the grid or we are taking yeah we, we are taking power from the grid or we are supplying the power to the grid so these details will be uh, decided based upon these two parameter pv current and the source of the battery so this block is used for generating the reference current in the dq and then this is actual current measured from the inverter so this is also going to be converted into dq so after that this actual dq is is compared with a reference and process of your current controller just that means pa controller conventional pa controller so that going to be generate the control signal in the form of dq so that going to be converted into abc quantity and then we take only a quantity for generating the getting pulse for this inverter this one okay so this is a model assembling model of this hybrid pv window generated system and also here we created irradiation i that means we are changing the irradiation for every 0.3 second so initially it around one and then 1500 and it's around uh, um, 10 watts per meter square and then after this comes to 500 and then 1000 watts per meter square for every 0.3 second from 0 to 0.3 and then 0 0.6 0 0.1 0.2 okay and here we measure that uh, uh, that mean uh, boost converter voltage and the rectifier voltage uh, boost converter current that mean dc that mean converter output current and the rectifier current and then here we measuring that uh, uh, rectifier power that in output power of the rectifier and the output power of the converter okay and we measuring that load detail that mean pv detail side we are measuring pv voltage current and power so here we are measuring that uh, dc bus voltage that mean dc load current and the dc load power and here we are measuring battery voltage and current and then here we are measuring that battery soc so here we are measuring uh, inverter voltage current and the grid current and here we are measuring that uh, uh, that mean current in the current in the dc bus so we can see that here we are measuring the power of the power and boost converter power and then here we are measuring rectifier current and boost converter current so here we are measuring rectifier voltage and boost converter voltage so this are measurement and also here we are measuring generator voltage and generator current okay now i'm going to simulate this model and we'll let let's see about that simulation results So first I'm going to open PV battery and then DC load and then voltage of the rectifier voltage and boost converter voltage rectifier voltage and boost converter voltage and then power of rectifier and the boost converter power and then generator voltage and current so inverter voltage 
current and grid current. Okay. So here you can see that initially that irradiation that been maintained at 2000 watts. So because of that we are getting the maximum power of around 2000 watts. After that the irradiation changed to 500. So we are getting around 1000 watts per meter square and then irradiation goes to 10 watts per meter square. That's why we are getting power around 0 watts. Okay. Again it comes to 500 watts per meter square. So that's why we are getting power around 1000 watts. After that, the irradiation changed to 1000. So that's why we are getting power around 2000 watts. So here you can see this variation of PV voltage and current according with the irradiation change condition. And you can see here, right, because of the change in irradiation what happened, the current of the battery, charging current of the battery also going to be changed according with the power level of this PV power. Okay. And here you can see that the DC bus voltage maintained around 400 volt because of this voltage controller. And then you can see that this is the load, DC load current and DC load power. And here you can see that so rectifier voltage is maintained around 200 volt and then boost converter voltage in the wind generator right. So it is also maintained 400 volt because this voltage and this voltage will be constant right because they are connected in the common DC bus okay. So after two seconds what happened that uh, rectifier uh, sorry wind generator wind turbine wind speed change from 12 meter per second to uh, 10.7 meter per second so from the uh, from 0 to 2 second right the wind speed is around 12 meter per second okay so because of this we are getting the power around 2.6 uh, 2.6 kilowatts okay so when the irradiation change from 12 meter per second to 10.7 so the power we are getting around 1500 watts okay so because of that you can see that uh, initially the uh, that battery charging is around when both that mean pv irradiation is equal to 1000 watts per meter square and uh, the wind speed around 12 meter per second so the battery charge it around minus 13 amps okay so when the pv sorry wind power right uh, change changed from 2.6 to 1500 2.6 2.6 kilowatt to 1.5 kilowatt so the charging current of battery also going to be reduced like it's reduced to around minus 7 amps okay so depending upon in this uh, the power in the pv and uh, um, wind turbine right the battery will be charged and also here you can see that the variation of uh, uh, the mean uh, inverter voltage, inverter current, and in grid current. So I'm going to zoom this current level so you can see that. Okay, so here you can see that. So we are getting sinusoidal current in the uh, grid side inverter and uh, okay. So, so based upon this uh, uh, SOC of the battery and the PV power, the reference current will be changed in the system and also based upon power available in the PV and the wind, the charging of battery also going to be changed. Uh, here that uh, the DC bus voltage always maintained because of the voltage control used in the bidirectional DC DC converter and because of this MBPT used in the uh, wind turbine side. That mean, by means of P and MPPT algorithm, we are extracting the maximum power from the wind turbine, and also because of that in incremental conductance MPPT in the PV side, so we are extracting the maximum power with the different irradiation level. So this is the working of uh, grid connected PV wind uh, with the battery energy storage system. Thanks for watching our videos. So kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.